Hello everyone and welcome back to the Chassis Variant Series, myself Critical Rocket. Here we are with the Dervish 7D, the D standing for Davian of course, who uh, pretty much were the only house that kept the mech in any kind of uh, regular production after the fall of the Star League. The other houses had fair numbers of them, but uh, Davian were the only ones who still had a factory that could produce new versions. So the 7D was designed in the late 3040s. Utilising some of that tasty new Lost tech that was coming in at the time, fresh for the new battlefields, presumably at the time against the likes of Kirita and Lau. Little did they know, huh? So, uh, yeah, the 7D is a, a kind of a side grade, really. They put case in the side torsos, it had ferrofibrous armour, used endo steel chassis, and basically this allowed them to do things like add case to protect the ammo bins in the side torsos for the RM launchers, and upgrade the SRM2s to streak models. Outside of that, it still retains the same medium lasers, and I believe it has a slightly better profile for speed, but outside of that, it's virtually the same mech. Uh, most of the changes that were made were uh, very minor for some of the other, uh, for the new weapon systems and such and some of the other uh, side grades that were equipped at the time. So it still works as a sort of fire support model, it didn't really alter its job that much. The Street 2s definitely allowed it to engage light mechs a lot easier than had been uh, available in the past. So it could have had a sort of secondary objective on the field of uh, chasing down things like uh, Jenners, Locusts, Panthers, those kind of things that may have tried to get in behind the lines that now were under threat from streaks. Now in MechWarrior Online this is a mech that comes with a significant uh, number of missile hardpoints for its size. It comes with six in total. Uh, which means compared to the 6M or the 6MR, which were more energy focused with some missile backup, this is more of your splat mech. You'll be able to mount uh, two in these torsos, so one on each side, and the arms will have the rest. So uh, keep that in mind. As I said in, I think, the 6MR video, the arms are likely the most important part on the dervish because you're carrying a significant amount of the weaponry in each arm. And it does have lower slung arms, that is one thing to keep in mind with the dervish it can uh, very easily plough most of its firepower into uh, a piece of the terrain that you might be up against when you think you've got a clear shot. So for people who enjoy, I think, personally I think this will work well for those people who enjoy running things like assassins, arctic wolves, um, basically anything that can mount a, a chunk of SRMs, because default it's got a decent amount of firepower and speed, and uh, there's Hebe in the background. I have tried to keep her quiet, um, but she won't have it, she just won't, <laughs> this fucking cat. Um, yeah, so, if you like that style of play, the sort of run in and sort of splat a large mech from behind, or being able to just harass something to death with street fire, it, I mean this, I can imagine this thing with a lot of street twos would be incredibly frustrating, because at 55, not only do you get the benefit of the, the maximum armour compared to say the assassin, E.B. Compared to the Assassin, um, you get the ability to uh, also use jump jets, mount a larger rated engine, and you can stay highly maneuverable and just constantly spam SRM 2 fire, uh, street uh, 2 fire at targets, and probably not really have to worry too much about your heat, uh, as you can probably get in a few extra heat sinks in there. Alternatively, this thing could also work as an LRM spammer, obviously, LRM 5s uh, could be quite effective on this, or uh, multiple LRM-10s. Uh, outside of the bay doors, which you can obviously force open if you want to uh, keep up the rate of fire, it's it's got a lot of opportunity uh, for just being one of those really nasty little spammers that just wear you down, you know? And uh, th this match, wow, this this was a good match, this was a very fun match, uh, very back and forth, um, it, it's, it's close to the end now. And I believe, I think this has an XL engine, because I was very, very cautious about my side torsos. Okay. Um, also, it, I, I think it does have an XL engine, because I remember looking at it in the mech lab and thinking, what's the point in having case when your side torso explodes and you're dead instantly anyway? That is one of the big problems. Is one of the things in tabletop, what case is supposed to do is that, oh, you roll a crit and the ammo's exploding. Okay, it's alright, because case will contain that explosion. The, it still does damage, of course, and if your side torso explodes from the damage, you're still dead. But if you don't have much ammunition, so you've got like a shot left, or two shots left, that damage will only go into the rest of the side torso, which might not kill you. Whereas, 
<laughs> that growing line it doesn't make any difference because as soon as your ammo goes up, everyone's carrying enough ammunition to, to like take down a fortress class dropship anyway. So it it just you just go up like a Roman candle. So you could probably save yourself a, a whole ton of free space there by just getting rid of the case if you're going to run the XL engine. And it does work with XL engines, by the way. It's side torsos. I haven't felt that the hitboxes are particularly massive on it. It's actually quite a well-rounded uh, build. Although, yeah, my side torsos are open, but that's only because the side torsos have less armor compared to the CT. And uh, yeah, if if you equalized it across side torsos and CT, it probably you'd probably see that they'd get open up relatively same time. To be honest, depending on the accuracy of your opponent. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, it was a good one. Uh, the, oh yeah, that's it, the round ends now, unfortunately, because they had a disconnect. That was the only downside of the whole match, was the, was the disconnect. So, uh, shame really, because I think it was a hunchback, and they really could have done with that. I think if the hunchback had been there, it probably would have swung it in their favour. But, uh, yeah, it was a good fight regardless. Uh, I, I rather enjoyed it. So, other than that, I mean... <laughs> Yeah, I'd recommend it. I recommend trying it out. It even maybe not in its default mode, but it definitely has the potential to, to be built into something very effective uh, for the uh, the competitive world of MechWarrior Online for sure. So uh, yeah, just run out. So wait, I'm waiting for the video to end. To be honest. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been a bit warm, hasn't it? It's getting getting to summer. Oh, there you go. Round down there. Yeah, it's good. I posted good damage, actually, if I remember correctly. I did quite well with this. I was, uh, was surprised, yeah. That was a good one. Anyway, um, thanks, for, <laughs> thanks everyone for joining. Hope you have a good week, everybody. Thanks, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye.